Hello everyone, it's PZZS in here, and today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPod type video. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight on into it. Okay, <clears throat> so, that's my background. It's kind of temporary, I might change it later today. That, that's normally not that slow, but with iOS 4 on here, it is slower. But generally, it goes by smoothly, so, I don't know. Ugh, got some crap on my screen. Anyway, just a quick look at my home screen. There we go. Something we have yet to see is uh, a way to change the bright to adjust the brightness with these volume rockers. Like if you could hold down a button or something, do it that. I've decided to keep my home screen, then my main screen, the exact same, same way. This probably will never change. <laughs> just just what I'm used to. If this looked any different, it would totally weird me out. Anyway, down here on the bottom, we only have three icons down here. That's because I'm gonna start doing something where I have one free space in my icon in my app in my in my dock, just in case I need to move stuff to another home screen. But you can see I got the iBooks right there. I've got Twitter on the other side, and then in this folder, just got a bunch of uh st this the apps that came in the dock s before and um. I also have uh, Nike Plus iPod in there and Remote, so that's kind of nice. All right, moving right along. Look at all these folders. Yeah, I like this whole folder idea, and I am definitely taking advantage of it. I am considering downgrading back to 3.1, but this feature alone <clears throat> is keeping me from doing that. I'm dead serious. This is my favorite feature. I don't care about backgrounds. I don't care about multitasking. I don't care about <clears throat> You know all the other stuff we couldn't do. Folders. If we couldn't use folders, I would be absolutely ticked off and I would not upgrade. Even if we had multitasking and even if we had backgrounds, I still would not upgrade. I love folders. Although, this isn't all the apps I had before because not all my apps synced over. So, I'm kind of gradually repopulating it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the games I have. Um, now, I have two different categories of games. I've got games games, like games that I actually kind of enjoy, and I have light slash free games. Games that are just kind of, you know, look interesting, play them, don't like them much, but, you know, might like them in the future, just kind of keep them in there. Anyway, here are my games games. that These are like my favorite games right here. So we got Line Rider, pretty cool. Bowman. We have Tetris, which is definitely something I would recommend you get. It gets really intense, though, if you play marathon mode. A Christmas Santa, even though it's not Christmas, it is still a pretty fun game. Um, if you like games like um, Shopping Cart Hero, you will love this game. And you'll also like another game I'm going to tell you about. We also have Flood It and Flood It 2. Those are pretty fun. Now, again, if you like Shopping Cart Hero, you will love a, a Doodle Fly. Basically, you can create your own character and... Uh, you, it's a really corny game, but it is a very, very fun game. I definitely recommend getting a Doodle Fly. You will love it. You will, you will love it. It's got some awesome music in it, and oh my gosh, it's just a really good game. I highly recommend it. If it's free, get it. If it's not free, buy an iTunes gift card ASAP and get it. Okay, I'm, it's, it's just that good of a game. Um, I got it though when it was free, and I also have Goal. That's G O A A A L. Um, that is temporarily free at the moment. All right, and in these here, eh, you can kind of take a look at those: Cube Runner, Fast Lane, Light, Alpine Crawler, which is kind of fun occasionally. Germs. Now the whole reason why I'm keeping Germs on here, I've and Germs actually isn't free, but I'm just keeping it in here just because I really don't play it that much. But the reason why I have Germs on here is because I have a friend at school who absolutely is addicted to that game. So I feel if I deleted it, he would kill me. <laughs> Darts. Uh, Real Racing GTI. That's actually a pretty fun game. It's in here though because it is a light version. I'm trying to keep all the uh, full and light versions sort of separated. We've got Labyrinth 3D Light. We've got Call of Duty Zombies. Um, that <laughs> Bounce Bullet is actually pretty fun, but it's not one I play often. Um, Bounce Down, also kind of fun. And Airline USA. And then I got another, um, folder like this. And you'll see I just, in my first one, is Light Free Games 1. This one is Light Free Games 2. So that works pretty nicely, because you can have up to a maximum of 12 apps in each folder. Um... 
got blocks in this one doodle cart deer hunter free that game and spinball which is actually pretty fun but it is a light version and so therefore yes alright moving right along toys I also have a lot of toys on here I'll just go to breeze through these because these are just pointless apps but just in case we have got coin dozer now you might think that's a game but I see it more as just sort of a a novelty I guess it's not really a game uh, color magic flick a pop cube cheater which is a really cool app especially if you have an iPhone or if the new iPod touch gets a camera it's gonna be an even cooler app if that happens uh, waves free and fluid both excellent I would recommend fluid over waves it actually looks real and I think they made a fluid too I just only have fluid but I did get fluid too in the past I think burp free one of the stupidest things I've ever seen but it is still a toy so yeah burglar alarm that's actually kind of a cool app it just needs to be a bit more serious and I might actually move it into the utilities folder um license basically just lets you design a fake license <laughs> uh dust candy dice motion x dice all right, I'm not gonna elaborate too much more. Oh, and we got bubble wrap, awesome. <clears throat> excuse me, awesome ball, bubble pop, bubble snap. So this is bubble wrap. This is bubble snap. They're both bubble wrap games. Um, and uh, you know, I'm not even gonna think about that. Lx, Lxe spinners one. It's actually kind of a cool app, but it's a little bit odd. Okay, under utilities, color calc, which is an HTML color generator for like hex codes and such. It's really, really handy app. Definitely recommend it if you're into HTML at all. Um, dictionary.com, pretty handy app. Use that pretty much on a daily basis when I'm in school. Uh, ConvertBot, Weatherbug, Pandora Box, Corrupt for Free, Hide My Secret. Now, this might not be what you think. This is actually a excellent app. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Um, because you can use it to, um, if you need to um, blur out some information on a photo that you're getting ready to upload to like a, a public website, you can just use that real quickly to do that. It's a really good app. It does look like it's a bad app based on the icon, but it, it is a beautiful app. I have used it. I did actually have to use it when I reviewed contacts in my um in my iPod Touch review. Alright, we also have the Apple Store, which I might move later on. Alright, and uh, here we just got a, the Dragon app, Search and Dictation. I used to have a microphone, but uh, those are quite useless. But basically, they're um, speech-to-text apps. But you do need an internet connection, which kind of sucks. Okay, trying to click on Google, but missing it. <laughs> Google Earth and Google. Oh, speaking of Google Earth, the Maps application has been updated quite mu quite a lot actually it doesn't look like it but the satellite view has definitely been improved like where I am a lot of stuff is very blurry but now it's actually a little bit more clear you can get a little bit more up close and the location is spot on spot on I'm afraid to open the maps application on camera now because of how accurate it is now and it's worked everywhere I have not I've not been up to a place that it hasn't worked yet. It's worked every time, and it is spot on. It's off by a little bit, but it is pretty much spot on. I'm absolutely impressed. But we don't really care about maps or care about Bibles. Yes, we got the Holy Bible and Bible Reader. Um, yeah, those are Bibles, obviously. Art and drawing. We've got cube paint. That's a light get version, but whatever. Spin art. Doodle Buddy, Tripping Fest, definitely recommend it. And this one, Tic Tac Draw, I just wanted to put another app in there, so I had to look one up real quick. And finally, News, uh, Game Center, and Discovery, which you might not really consider a news app, but I am a big fan of Discovery, so that's why it's in there. Alright, and those are all the apps I have. So, yep, that's all, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments about any of these apps, please let me know in the comment below done that or send them over to pizza science one at yahoo.com also be sure to check out my blog and my follow me on twitter both of those links are in the description down there so uh thanks for watching and adios